Dude, this shit is paradise to me because A, um, there's no people anywhere and there's not going to be people anywhere because like I said, this spot is hidden in plain sight. No one's gonna fucking come here. I've been doing this shit for long enough that I know when a spot is gonna be largely, if not completely untouched. So that's why I come out here often because there's just no people and people are exhausting, <laughs> especially nowadays. And there's just nothing like being in the rawest form of nature as in like, you know, I know a lot of people like to go on trails and fucking touristy, Ooh, here's the waterfall, blah, blah, blah. But it's like that to me is not pristine, raw nature. You're not getting the full experience, in my opinion, because it's just been like tread on a million times and there's just like people everywhere and everyone's just like, you know, taking selfies by the waterfall and blah, 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 you know, and like, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't use technology or whatever, but I don't know. There's just something about being in nature that is untouched, that is just so fulfilling nowadays. I mean, it's just like the society we live in is just so exhausting and it's just, when I'm, when I have free time, I just like to be alone and with my thoughts and just making dopey things like this fucking platform out here, you know? I mean, just like returning to your inner child, listening to your inner voice, reconnecting with yourself, you know, not fucking congregating with all these people and blah, 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 because it's like, sure, that's great, and there's a time and place for that, but... I feel like a lot of mental problems and disorders and disease in the world comes from just people not knowing themselves and just not listening to their inner voice and not working on themselves. And you know, I'm not perfect. I have a lot of flaws too, but you know, at least I try, <laughs> you know, I like to come out here. I like to, like last summer I came out here and I read the Red Book by Carl Jung, and it was like the most, I don't know, peaceful and eye-opening experience I've had in a long time. And before that, years ago, I would come out to this river by where I lived, and I would read Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly P. Hall, and it was just like, you know, it was just thrilling. Like, I couldn't wait to get to every page because everything was just so peaceful and nice, like, it was nice water flowing hear the birds and you might say like well how do you go to these spots and you're like right next to a fucking highway and a street and all that it's like I like being I like in between spots because it's in the in between that you can kind of take from the light and take from the darkness simultaneously so it's not just like a one-sided experience as in like I don't know, it's hard to explain. I mean, I know like when I was on the Appalachian Trail and everything was silent and it was just nature for miles, like that was amazing. But I also like to integrate the reality of the world we live in as in these dumb highways and all this other shit and kind of take from that what it can offer as far as like a fulfilling kind of lesson. Um, and that's why you know, other places I like to hang out, I haven't shown you guys yet, but I like to be under um, overpasses, down tracks, and places where I can, like, hear society but not be in it. It just, you know, what's that, again, Carl Jung quote where it's like, in order to have your, in order to have the branches grow, you have to have the roots into the earth or something like that. I don't know, words to that effect. I feel like it's good to have one foot up, you know, keep two feet on the ground. I don't want to be like a complete fucking Gnostic and try to leave my body, <laughs> you know? I, I feel like a lot of shit in the world today is like, oh, DMT, I found God, I left my body, you know. Fuck, fuck earthly shit, we have to ascend, descend. But it's like, people don't realize that ascension means integrating the fact 
that you're a human being on this earth into that equation. You can't just like ascend into this like godhead. That's not how it works. I don't know. A lot of thoughts going through my head. Um, but yeah, so this is part of the reason, mainly the reason why I come out to these like weird spots and I just find this shit because it's like, you know, this is why I could never live in a city. Because where can you go in a city that, like, you could be sure there's not going to be people walking around and, like, kind of lose that stillness, you know? And this, this is just me personally. Everyone has their own idea of stillness and peace and everything, but that's why I find these weird spots. And to be fair, <laughs> my girlfriend and I were camping out further down this river there's like this we like to call it a beach spot it's like a roundabout in the river and there's like sand and there's a nice part of the river that's like gets to about three and a half feet so you can go swimming and we did see this like weird hobo guy walking in the tall grass across uh the water and it was the second time we saw him he didn't even notice us i don't know if he was like on drugs or whatever but i do want to like figure out where he was going to or why he was over there um i've only been to that area one other time that was years and years ago and there was some lean-to shelter someone had made um but yeah i kind of want to see what else why he would be over that way i don't know but anyway happy saturday to you all i'm going to try to make more of these videos it's just nice to you know document being out here um so i can spread kind of this idea like you don't have to fucking sit at home you don't have to fucking go to a bar do like normal bullshit play by the rules you know just find a nice secluded spot off the beaten path and just hang out and you'll be surprised at um how nice it feels <laughs> And, you know, 